Spatchcock Funk here to throw some barrels at you. This is Donkey Kong Country Ribs. Perfect for a summer barbecue, the family, playing video games, playing yard games, whatever y'all. About the name, right? So it's Donkey Kong because we love Donkey Kong, but it's actually reminiscent of Hong Kong. This is Hong Kong style cooking, which is a combination of sweet, sour, and spicy flavors that combine to make something really kind of special. And for this dish, the star, the active ingredient is tamarind. So tamarind is a plant that you can buy in some Asian markets, but in many supermarkets, you can actually get tamarind paste, which is what we're gonna use. If you can't get either of these, can't buy these to mash them into a paste or buy the paste itself, just take vinegar, sugar, and water equally and mix it up and that can serve for that part of it. Now let's get some country up in here, a little twang, right? So what we're using for the meat are country style ribs. Now country style ribs actually aren't ribs at all. It's part of the pork shoulder, but they call them ribs because sometimes they come on a bone or without one and they look like they're ribs, but they're not. It's a bit of a tougher meat and it's very affordable. So if you do it right and treat it right, it's incredibly tasty and juicy. So really Donkey Kong country is because these are country style ribs. We're making Hong Kong flavors. Let's make the sauce in the marinade. You need five ounces of tamarind paste or the vinegar sugar mixture we talked about. Then a quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of light brown sugar, not dark, light brown sugar. Then our powder mix, a half tablespoon of garlic powder, a half tablespoon of black pepper, quarter tablespoon cayenne pepper. Now, once you get that in there, mix it up so it's really good and even. Then take your beautiful ribs, put them in this marinade, make sure the marinade covers it a little bit and you are going to just let this sit for 25 to 30 minutes. After the ribs have been chilling in Donkey Kong country land over here, taking a little bath, here's how you get your grill ready. Now turn half of your grill onto medium high and the other half leave off. This is cooking on indirect medium heat. Put your meat just on one side on the unheated part. You're gonna leave that for 25 to 30 minutes, close the lid and don't touch it. After it's got one side cooked up, what we're gonna do is take the remainder of your marinade and we are gonna baste one side of it liberally. Like get this Donkey Kong goodness, all this tamarind, all this beautiful tasty sugary goodness on the one side, right? Now what we're gonna do is you are gonna flip it just once. Flip it once, baste that other side and remember, it's on indirect heat, so it's not gonna look super charred up. That's what we want. When you take it off, it's gonna look like that. Brown, cooked, tiny grill marks. After that, we're gonna set it on some tin foil, right? Now, tin foil, you want to wrap it up tight because it's gonna continue cooking and the juice is gonna keep flowing throughout this beautiful piece of meat. So we're gonna wrap it up tight we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. Oh, we've been waiting so long for this. We're gonna take our beautiful pork ribs out. And if you look at this piece, all the way around it, you got this beautiful cooked approach to it and it is awesome. So what we're gonna do, since this is the boneless version, is we're just gonna cut a couple slices and it's gonna come out looking perfectly porky, just like that. The best part, here's a bite that Donkey Kong himself would throw some barrels for. Tender, juicy, sweet, just like our hearts. From our heart to yours, Spatchcock Funk.